Hello there, uh, this is Codexual, and today we're going to be doing a video on Stream Engage of how to set up your services. It's fairly simple and going to be a short, brief video, and I'm going to be explaining all the functions and what do they do. So um, you want to log into StreamEngage.com, and we're going to get to this page. And to get to this page is you want to click on the element right there. Uh, go ahead and click on that button. Now it brings you to this page. Now there is messages. YouTube and the queue. Basically the overall function is on the user's end or the viewer's end, if they want to send you a message or play a YouTube video or even add themselves to the queue to play a game with you, it will pop up on your stream. Now this is what will display. Let's go ahead and do a test message. This is a test stream engage message. So that will pop up on the screen. Um, so basically what you want to do is hop over on OBS or if you have XSplit, which I'll show you how to do it. Um, you want to copy this URL and you want to head over towards the OBS, click on the plus button, then go to browser source. And generally you want to name it, just call it stream engage a message. But for this video, I'll just go ahead and click OK. And right here, I'll say URL, go ahead and paste that in, click OK. And now you're able to resize it, move it wherever you want on OBS and same concept for the X split. So let's go ahead and just uh, resize it just a little bit so it can have a bigger picture. And we'll go ahead and do a uh, test message. I'll move this over to the left here. See how that pops up? And you can also, again, resize it for a uh, bigger message or a bigger picture, I should say. And it's the same concept with YouTube and the queue. Now with YouTube is it gives you two options to hide the player, which basically it won't show the, the video, but it'll still play the audio. So, if you go ahead and just toggle that, now it just displays the text message of what the title of the video is. And if you don't want that, you just want it to hide, it will go ahead and hide everything after four seconds. So it will display the, the title and the player, then it will hide. And it's the same concept, you just right click and copy and uh, go to browser source and you wanna rename it go to URL, paste that in, and now you can move it wherever you want. Same thing with the Q system here. Right click and copy on that, click the plus button, go to browser source, rename it, paste in the URL, and how my overlay is set up, I like to move this over on the right, so it's not in the middle of the screen, but over on the right where it has that space in. Everyone's overlay is different, so I just don't know how yours is. And you're probably wondering, how do I check who's in the queue? Well, that's simple. Um, in OBS, you can't scroll up or down, but you have to right click, hit interact, now you're able to scroll up and down. Now this is just a function of OBS, and same thing with any other website that you have uh, posted in with the browser source. Now let's bring our stream engage back. And basically, um, as I said previously, if I was your viewer and I wanted my message to display, I just go towards your URL, which you can click on the links here. And you just want to give them the main link. Um, if you want to be more direct and if you only want message to display, just give them this link. If you want a, a YouTube to be played, give them that link. And same thing with the queue if they want, if you want them to have them in your queue system to play video games for the next round. So now as for the XSplit portion, let's go ahead and move this over on the right. Um, I do apologize that this mirrors um, everything. I'll just go ahead and just um, collapse this. Now just pretend that it still shows what it shows on OBS, but it's the same concept, but different path. You click on add, you go to web page, and all you gotta do is paste in the URL and 
you can move it wherever you want, resize it. So right there is the queue system. I can move it on the bottom right, I can move it on the top left or in the middle, wherever I want it to be. So it's the same concept and it's fairly easy to set up with. Now, if you guys find this video tutorial helpful, please go ahead and give me a like, share the channel on to your social media, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope uh, to see you in the next video. Y'all take care.